My name is John Dimmitt. I uh, was on the school board from 1987 until uh, 2021, if that's correct, 34 years. Uh, when I started on the school board, uh, the board itself met at Wiley Elementary. Uh, that's where the central office was in the north wing. And the south wing of Wiley was the early childhood center. Uh, so my earliest recollections uh, of uh, the program was, was there and it was a uh, a fairly small program compared to what it is today. My connection to Urbana Early Childhood is uh, one that is, I think, a little unique. Um, not very many people know this, but I started off, um, one of my very first uh, teaching experiences was at Urbana Early Childhood as a young um, early childhood education student at the University of Illinois. Um, I was placed there in the old, of course, uh, early childhood building, and um, it was one of the best experiences I ever had. Uh, everyone in the building was just so wonderful. Um, it really inspired me. My name is Dr. Preston L. Williams, Jr. I was the former superintendent of Urbana School District 116. Um, I remember Washington early childhood when I originally started here. Uh, great school. Uh, my best memory about Washington early childhood was uh, actually going over there. Uh, because as a superintendent sometimes, well maybe you don't know, but sometimes it can be pretty challenging uh, and your days can be pretty long and, and intense. Uh, but the one thing about going over to the early childhood uh, school was that those kids didn't care. They didn't care who you were. They didn't care what your title was. They didn't care anything about your day. They basically wanted you to either tie their shoes or wipe their noses or give them a hug or read them a story. And for me, that was the most pleasurable point in my day, just to go over and actually relate and interact with the three-year-old. I felt that the program was of such a nature that it deserved its own facility. And so uh, many of us worked towards that end uh, to get the new facility uh, built. And uh, that was that was some fun times as we uh, learned from the professionals, uh, the educators, uh, what uh, really made a, a good early childhood facility. And some of the cool things about it, the low windows, the, the indoor and outdoor uh, space, the gross motor skills spaces, uh, even the kitchen where they uh, were, were gonna teach them uh, basic cooking. Uh, all became a, a part of the progression of the program to where it is today. Hi, I'm Abby Luce. Um, I've worked at Urbana Early Childhood for five years. One of the things that I love about Urbana Early Childhood is the community. Uh, we work really, really hard to really support our youngest learners. Um, another thing I really love about working at Urbana Early Childhood is uh, my students in my classroom. So I get the um, wonderful opportunity to work with some of the best scientists in the world. Uh, I love my students' curiosity and they ask the best questions. Hi, my name is Dominica Turner Winston. I'm a senior at Urbana High School and I attended early childhood in about 2008 and 2009. I went twice because I have a late birthday. Um, I remember my teachers being Miss Tara and Miss Renee. And I think my, my favorite core memory that I have is when we did the little chains and we went around the school to see how many chains could fit around the whole school when it was in Washington and the gingerbread, the gingerbread house. That was my favorite memory. Hi, my name is Krista Cleveland, formerly Krista Nix. Um, and I've been a teacher at Washington Early Childhood School and Urbana Early Childhood School for 17 years. And um, both of these schools have meant a lot to me because um, I love teaching. It's been my life calling and um, this affords me the opportunity to um, be teaching children and their families. It's what I love to do every day. When I was a young educator, um, I was able to be at early childhood with uh, the wonderful Connie Brown and Bernie. 
Um, they really set a great tone for the building. Um, they were great leaders. Uh, as a young person seeing that's what a principal does uh, was really exciting. They really understood uh, what early education was all about. Um, and then at this point in my career, you know, as a, as a principal, um, I was able to work side by side with Chris Fowles as colleagues. Um, and Chris was an amazing leader at early childhood. She took them through so many ups and downs and really um, just took the program to another level and really uh, just transformed it and, and took them into the kind of 21st century learning. Um, so thank you, Chris, for being there. And I also um, was able to work with Beth Ladd in my role as a, a superintendent. And um, Beth has been a, an amazing leader to step in um, after Chris and, and, and such strong leadership. So um, between Chris and Beth and now uh, Dr. Heinhorst and Katie Madigan, we're 10 years in our new space. And how exciting is that, that uh, the new early childhood um, school is 10 years old and isn't really new anymore, but it is still a great place to be and a place where uh, everyone loves learning and cares for kids. When things got crazy or if I felt like I was losing perspective, I would take my computer and usually a stack of paper and go sit in a classroom. And this is what made the job so worth it because I, I was not there for an evaluation on the teacher or any of the staff. I was there to absorb what was happening in our building. And I was doing emails and trying to keep up with what was happening there, but I could hear the sound of the children laughing, sometimes crying. I would hear the teacher uh, praising and encouraging and asking questions, and a friend come over to comfort the child that may have been crying. And I would hear the sounds of joy and glee and all the things, how proud they were of themselves when they did something great or confused and asked for help. It was just, just the sounds and the words that the teachers used and the teaching assistants, how they supported what was happening in the classroom. And knowing that those kids were so happy to be there because they had stuff and it was their stuff and they were doing good stuff. That's always reminded me about the importance of the work of early childhood education and the staff and the families and all of that was worth anything else that was happening. What I love about most about um, Washington Early Childhood and Urbana Early Childhood is the team spirit that we have. We are not there to glorify ourselves or to lift up our individual self, but we're there to work together for the betterment of children and families. And UACS has been a family for me for 17 years, and I continue to work here because I love families and their children, and that's what I love about Urbana Early Childhood. The other thing I really love about our parent early childhood is as a teacher, I get the flexibility to listen to my students and to design my curriculum around their interests. So we work really hard with um, designing um, what they want to learn about, whether it be about pets or construction site down the street or about some worm that they found on the ground. Um, it's always something new and something exciting and it comes from them, which is a really unique experience. It really helped me. It's like be a very talkative person, an outgoing person, since I was around other kids like all the time, instead of like maybe being at home and learning from my parents. Yeah, it just made me be more confident, even as a young child. I think looking forward in the next 10 years, Urbana will continue to strive to um, gain new practices and learn about new strategies, new ways of doing things so that we can continue to really uh, benefit our students, our families, uh, our community, um, and continue to grow together. I'm glad that we had the foresight to size the common spaces um, to accommodate those larger pods and the increased number of children uh, when the time comes. Uh, I hope that the boards are um, forward-looking enough that when the time comes to do that, uh, that that happens. And I really, really appreciate the fact that our educators and our architect um, kept that in mind uh, when the building was designed. So it cost us a little bit more when we first built it, 
but I think it was money very well invested. It's just good schooling. Like, I feel like everybody, every parent wants to see their kids succeed educationally. So like, it's just a good like building block to get to the next step. It's a great environment. It's a tremendous uh, asset to the Urbana uh, community. And I hope it's here for another 50 years and beyond. So uh, good luck to you and uh, Urbana Early Childhood School. Uh, tremendous facility, tremendous uh, asset to the community, and uh, I'm proud to be a part of it uh, and proud to have actually had a hand in making sure that it is still continuing today. So, happy 50th anniversary.